In the last video, I talked about marrying a man five years younger. Yeah, me. <laughs> so in today's video, we'll be talking about helpful tips for dating a guy younger than you. I'm not, I'm not going to focus on the age brackets, whatever, because it can be any age difference. So let's say you met this guy and everything is going straight, going great. And then you discover that he's younger than you and you feel the relationship just got complicated. Um, first, you're wondering how society accepts an older woman or just you being older than your boyfriend. And also you're thinking about how to break it to your family that this person is younger than you and all that. <laughs> Which I never brought to my family up to today. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know that I'm older than my husband for goodness sake and nobody asked and I felt like there was no point sharing that information. So from my personal experience, I'll be talking about tips for dating a guy younger than you. Yes, I don't have all the experience in the world. I don't have all the what's it called? Um, degree, whatever, to back this up, but I dated a younger man, so, and I married one, so I think I have some first-hand experience. So before we, before we go into the tips, let's talk, let's, let's just answer some questions. So should you date a man younger than you? I'll say yes, if he treats you well, because I always, that's, that's what I always put first. You meet a guy, you like him, or you're attracted to him, you guys are attracted to each other. The next thing to think about is how well do they treat you? It's not the restaurant they took you, to, they take you to on, on your first date or whatever. It's not any of that. It's how does this person treat you? Do they do, do, do they are they are they kind to you? Do they treat you with respect? That's what you should that that's those are the things that you should focus on in the relationship. And those are things that that I believe lead to having feelings for someone how they treat you not the jewelry they bought you seriously yes we love jewelry i love jewelry but the way they treat you is the mo is the most important step in your relationship to me and if if the guy discovers that you are older and he decides that oh he cannot date you because you're older then he's not your person and you let it go and you you move on so Another, another reason why it's okay to date someone that is younger than you is because it's because it's more common than you th than you think. There are so many people that are there are so many women out there that are young that are older than their partners. Some married their husbands, boyfriend, whatever. It's more common than you think. If they don't say it, you won't know it because we all assume that the man is older in every relationship. So it's very very common for women to be older than their partners in relationships. Mine is five years. I've, I've heard of some that are eight years. I've heard of some that are 10 years. Hell, there are some that are 20 years and and they're fine. Another thing is that there are no special rules for who you can date. Who made these rules that the man must be older? Like, <laughs> where are we getting these things from? As long as you are both consenting, con <laughs> as long as you are both consenting adults, you can love and marry a guy younger than you, as if you guys want to get married. The marriage is not very not everybody wants to get married so whatever so now let's talk about tips for dating a younger man or a man younger than you let's put it that way don't number number one don't lie about your age some women feel like they should lie about their age even one of my readers on my blog was like she met this guy and she's five years older and she lied to him that she's three years old <laughs> So when I replied to her comment, I told her she has to tell him the truth. And she says he loves her, he wants to marry her. Three years, five years, there's really, yes, there's, there's still two years more, but there's no difference. If the person loves you and they want to marry you, it's fine. If they want to be with you, it's fine. So don't lie about your age. If he doesn't want to date you because you're older, he's not your person. What I discovered is that it's best to let your partner know from the beginning. So you know everything you need to know about them. If if this is how they think or if they feel like or oh, you guys can still make it work and and you're fine besides if they decide that they don't want to marry because you're older or they don't want to date you because you're older than them it's okay everybody have what they like and you can just yes it hurts but you can just let it go two be yourself 
when you are dating someone, when you are dating a guy younger than you, just be yourself. Don't don't think you have to act younger or just really I don't even know how to act younger. Like how do you act younger? You just be yourself. The way you've been, the way he saw you that he fell in love with, that he liked you. Just be yourself and you guys will be okay. So don't so even if you're in your thirties, don't start trying to act like 20 something i don't even know how the 20 something year olds act i'm sure everybody, everybody's just everybody's just acting. everybody's just being somebody so again just be yourself please and keep people out that's number three when you're dating a man younger than you keep people out because people always have their opinions oh he's going to do this or oh, he's going to leave you for a younger woman like <laughs> like i've heard so many times you don't even have to you don't even have to tell anybody that he's younger than you there's there's no point like what's the point of that information really like what's what does it help who does it help you, i don't know if you feel if you feel you want to share it you can share it but i feel like there's no point and also when you when when you tell people they start projecting and start making you feel feel insecure about your choice which can just mess things up so i believe in keeping people out of your relationship Number four, don't be afraid to talk about what you want in a relationship. If you want to get married eventually, you let you need to let them know. So you guys will know and plan accordingly. So if he doesn't want to get married yet because he's younger, that's fine. You would know and then you, you think if you want to wait or if you want to move on and be with someone who wants what you want. Also, don't ever think that because you're asking for what you want, like you want, maybe you want a long-term relationship. You don't just want to play around or you want to get married. Don't ever think that you look desperate asking for these things because when you don't say what you want, that's when you just keep going in a relationship and, and it's not, it's leading nowhere. So you need to say what you want. Like me, I knew that I wanted to get married and my husband was ready to get married and, <laughs> and we both wanted it. So we went for it. We talked about it. We talked about what we wanted. We talked about the about how many kids we want and the first kid we want to have. It's just, it's just funny. I'm not saying this is the way it has to be, but that's what we talked about. Like, oh, I, I always wanted to have a girl first, and he always wanted that, too, which is very strange. And that was what we got. I loved the name. I, I love the name that we named our child. That was the name, name I always wanted. And when I told him, he liked it and he wanted that. Funny enough, I was talking to his sister years ago and she told me that, that oh, Junior, Junior, they call him Junior. Junior has always wanted his daughter to have this, this, this name. Sorry, I'm not going to give my, my kid's name here. So he, we, we just, we just liked so many, we liked the same things and it was easy to talk about it and we knew that we we're on the same page. So it's best to talk about these things. So you and this person are on the same page. Another thing you shouldn't do is don't focus on the age. Remember, he already knows that you're younger, so just let that go. Stop reminding him that he's younger than you. In every relationship, people have arguments, so you don't have to now focus on, oh, the fact this, this, this happened because he's younger than me, or oh, he said this, this, this because he's younger than me, or oh, you should know better because you're younger than me, or oh, um, oh, you, you act like a child. Like, that's child nonsense that a lot of people say to their partners. It doesn't, it doesn't even help anything. So what's the point that you argue with your partner? He already knows that you're, young, you're older than him. He knows that he's younger than you. So why are you bringing it up in arguments? It doesn't make any sense. So deal with conflicts with an open mind and never make it about the age. Everybody can make mistakes. Okay, so if you if you make a mistake, would you say, oh, or you did, if he says, oh, you did this because you're an old man, would you feel comfortable with it? So let's, let's just be civil and communicate with open mind, with an open mind. Seven, treat him with respect like you treat a guy that is older than you. Maybe you've been in relationships with guys that are older than you and now you're dating this person that is younger than you and the age, and you just can't get past the age. But to make it work, you have to look past the age and you also need to respect this person. That you that you want to date, or I don't know what you guys want to do in the future, but don't 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 think you have the right to put them down because they are younger than you, or and 
don't just think that oh, because he's younger, he's immature. There are men that are older and that, that are still immature. So respect him the way you would respect a man. Like if 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 you're used to dating men that are older than you, that same respect that you give to that that partner that, that is older than you, that same respect you give to this current partner that is younger than you. Another point is you must communicate honestly. Like if you're dating a man younger than you, just communicate honestly. Don't think because he's younger, he cannot deal with problems. Some of us don't know how to communicate in relationships. We just feel like um, that if, if, if I'm quiet and I'm frowning, he should know that I'm upset. Or if I give silent treatment, he should just know that I'm, so, I'm upset. Or, or I would say, oh, I don't want... I don't want, I don't want you to make a big deal of my birthday. And then when, when you don't make a big deal of my, of my birthday, I get upset that you don't make a big, deal of my, of my, a big deal of my birthday. You have to communicate openly. Don't say one thing and mean something else. Men are not mind readers. Our partners are not mind readers. Men to women are not mind readers. So I believe that most men even communicate more openly. So women, let's also try to do that. If I'm mad at my, at my husband, I tell you, this is why I'm mad at you. And I don't like this, this, this. Or he knows he doesn't have to stay and guess and start wondering like what did he do or what even if i'm quiet for a while i tell him i see so you cannot say that I'm, I'm upset with you this is what you did that i'm upset about and he knows so i don't i don't just sit down and let something steal and there's no point it doesn't say anything and that's how you get your message across nine be confident when you're in a relationship with a younger guy dating a younger guy Will test your confidence. <laughs> Things that you don't really, that you don't normally worry about, will start to bother you. Like sometimes you just feel like ah, maybe when people look at you, you feel like can they tell that I'm older than him? When when it's possible, they might just maybe they're just admiring you and you're already jumping and thinking that they're judging you. Also, if they are judging you, well, who cares? Because it doesn't matter if they judge you. What's important is that you guys are together. So. Being confident will also help you ignore the age and focus on your relationship. Another thing is you can go, you should go with the flow when you when you're dating a guy younger than you. His idea of fun will be different from yours, and just let your guard down, enjoy the experience. If he wants to show you off, please, please enjoy it, enjoy that attention. Eleven, discuss important topics like kids before things go far. Like I said before, like talk about what you want. It doesn't make you look desperate. If someone thinks they're desperate for talking about that, then they're not your person, really. So if you want to get married, talk about it. If you want to have kids, talk about it. Say these things before things go far. So it won't be that, oh, now I have I cannot let this person go. I love this person. But now I have to forfeit my my love for kids or my love for being a mom and because I just want to be with them. You have to know what you want. Maybe, maybe if you talk about it earlier, then you have time to maybe I don't know, break up, find someone else that wants what you want, or maybe he'll ch maybe he might start wanting it. Because I and I have a friend, a friend of mine, she was dating a guy, and after she moved across the country to be with him, then she discovered that he doesn't want to have kids and. She was like, oh, she wants to have kids, and she was she was going to break up, but he didn't want to break up. So he says, he said to her that he would love to have a child with her, even if he doesn't want to have a child before. He said that he wants to have a child with her, and they have a child. They have a son who's like, who's <laughs> almost a teenager now. So you have to talk about these things so you know where you stand and what you want from this relationship. And also continue your hobbies and your passions, what you like to do. Keep doing those things. Don't change, don't change your life 360 just because you're dating a guy younger than you. You start thinking that, oh, you have to do only his hobbies that are, maybe you think his hobbies are for a younger person and you start doing all those things. Just be yourself. Enjoy your friends, your, your friends that you had before dating. Still hang out with them. Still do those things that excite you. So you know that you're still your person. You're still you. Don't get out of you. Still be yourself. That's what I'm saying. And also you can try some of his hobbies, which can help to strengthen your relationship. Like me, I watch football with my husband. And, <laughs> and we talk about football, which is even weird to me because 
I never watched football before, even if some of my exes used to watch football. I never watched football with her. I never, I was never really interested in, in it. But with my husband, I started watching football, started watching things like, what's it called, The Hobbit and Harry Potter. Those are things that he likes. And now I talk about them with him, which is <laughs> weird, but also really cool because it makes us really closer. And sometimes you can joke about the age difference. Like, there's, it's just, just keep things light. Sometimes I tease my husband, like, oh, you don't see anybody to date. You went to date someone that's older than you. And you say, you don't see somebody to date someone that's younger than you. You just laugh about it. Also, do what makes you happy in your relationship. When you're with a guy you're older than, you can't please everyone, especially regarding your relationships. Do what makes you happy. Are you are you happy with the guy? If, 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 if you're happy with him, that's what's important, not what anybody has to say. If a relationship doesn't work, no problem. But it's not because he was, he's younger or because you're older, whatever. It's not because of that. Sometimes some relationships just don't work. And also, don't assume anything. Just because he's younger than you, don't assume ex you know exactly how the relationship will go. Some people say the relationship will not work. Some would say the woman would not respect the man. But like I said at the beginning, you need to respect him just the way you respect a guy that is older than you. So respect is important in relationship. All and um, some people say, oh, he's going to leave you for a younger woman. Like I said before in my in my previous video, say he will leave for a younger woman. Don't assume anything. Don't listen to these things. You know the person you are dating. You are you are the one that knows him more than all these people that are talking, your friends, your sisters, your family members, you know him more than, you know him more than these people. So they're just projecting what they've heard, what they've seen, or their own insecurities. You focus on relationship. Also, did, did he get to you because of your looks? Yes, he liked you, he was attracted to you, but do you think that's the only reason why you guys are together? If that's the only reason, then, then maybe you guys shouldn't be together. But keep an open mind. Enjoy every day. Enjoy your relationship. If you know that he's not with you for your looks, then just, just relax and enjoy your relationship. Let's, let, and let the relationship take its natural course. Lastly, don't forget to spend time with your friends. Don't depend entirely on your man for friendship. Yes, friendship is important in your relationship. But your boyfriend should be able to spend time with his friends. You should be able to spend time with your friends. It just balances things out. So yeah so yeah that's all i have to say about dating a guy younger than you when you find a guy who likes you and treats you well always remember treats you well someone that is good to you and you like him and you want to date him don't throw that away because people think they know what's best for you you know what's best for you because you're an adult that's all i have to say for this video hope you find it helpful if you like it please like it and please subscribe for more i'll see you next time bye